gore horror. It's about a reanimated girl that has a giant dildo that she injects as goo with herself to keep herself reanimated. And the scientist is trying to get it back from her. Find the fucking formula, Bar. I know originally when I came up the idea, I was thinking it was going to be like Gorgasm Part 2, Gore Horrors. And I was going to have Rick come back with his one hand and he was going to have this whole army of Gore Horrors. And then it just kind of changed from there. I had talked about it with those guys before I left on Garotica. And everybody was on line for it and they wanted to do it. I pretty much had the whole idea fleshed out by the time I came back when we had the premiere at Garotica. When I went to the Garotica premiere, I had met Audrey, which once again is another fake name. I ever use fake names in my movies. <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks anyone's going to like them or something. I don't know what the deal is. Met Audrey, and I gotta admit, it was at the premiere, I was drunk, but she seemed nice at the time, <laughs> and uh, she, she could really dance, and she was dancing around for some reason that just mesmerized me, I don't know why, and she wanted to be in the movie, and we talked, and everything went on, and I thought, oh, great, you know, you can be in the movie, saying, so, you know, I got this movie gore for her, and she was really into it, it's like, oh, yeah, this will be great, you know, and kind of went on from there, well, you know, I had two problems with that. The one problem, you know, I was drunk, so maybe I weren't making good judgment calls at the time. The second is like when we went to shoot. I mean, the first time was a lot, like all my movies, there's a ton of nudity in them. And we did that where she takes her clothes off in the cemetery to inject herself with this giant dildo thing, which um, Robert had made, but she did a really good job on. Robert Walters from Texas. And she took her clothes off for the first time and she had that concave chest. I mean, I'd never seen that. You know, do you even ask that on a resume? You know, her boobs are here, and there's this big concaved area here. There's a name for it. I forget what it is. It just makes her boobs look cross-eyed, and it looked like it's just weird. It was really, you know, I don't know what to say. You know, and we're sitting there shooting. I'm like, I'm looking at other people, like, what the hell's going on? What, what's doing? What's this? And you know, everybody's like whispering about it after the fact. But you know, at that point. I'm thinking, okay, she's a dead whore, gore whore. Uh, this, this actually kind of works. It's just adding weird, more weirdness to this whole thing, so we just rolled with it. I think she did a good job. She, she was very scary. I couldn't trust her with sharp objects. There was several times people get hurt around her. She was supposed to do something, you know. You're acting. You act like you're going to do something. She would actually do it. So when we got to the scene, there was a lesbian scene where she was supposed to kill this lady with a knife, and I couldn't let her get close to her. I was scared of what might happen. I was afraid she'd kill her. So, and then you imagine how I felt when there's the one scene where I'm laying down with the camera and she's slinging that knife around me. I'm like, I. She really made me nervous. There was a lot of things about her that made me nervous because I never knew what was going to happen for sure. But I mean, we got through it and probably added to the whole movie. There was a lot of scenes in that movie I just think are really cool. There's a part where um, they roll the head down the stairs at the end of the movie and it rolls up to the scientist. And we rolled this head down the stairs and we just had the guy laying there with his head on the floor where it looked like it was cut off. And he just rolls his head towards the guy right at the last second. But the way that cuts together, it just cuts together so smooth. It just looks like the head just rolled right up to him. Heads up, Whitman. We had a really hard time with the headless, where the guy gets his head chopped off and they, he animates the head and animates the body. And we had to go and shoot at a blue screen in a studio. I thought that turned out really well, where his head looked like his head was off. I mean, we shot a background and blue screened his head. We wrapped his head with, you know, the blue and, and just added that behind him. 
But other than that, I mean, everything else was done hands-on, and I think there's some good effects in Gore Horror. There's a lot of good... This is actually my favorite movie, because there's, there's so much cool stuff in it. car scene, I, I'm a car nut. As you can see, this is actually my office. This is a 1978 Corvette billboard that I use for wallpaper in my office. I'm a car nutcase. I love Corvettes, but anyway, I always want to put stuff in movies where a car wrecks, and then we were going to wreck this car. We bought the car to wreck, and uh, ran it off a hill. Assuming it was going to flip over, we like, you know, loaded the accelerator down, put a dummy in there, and just let it go, which probably isn't the safest thing in the world to do. But it didn't, it didn't wreck worth a crap. That's why it's in slow motion. It looks better in slow motion, fast, just like a car running down a hill. We also had the scene where it like it wrecks into the driving down the road with the, the zombie on the hood, and it wrecks into the Volkswagen. There's a lot of crazy stuff in that movie. This is a fun movie. I mean, it was a fun... It's a fun movie to watch. It wasn't a fun movie to make. It was like problems after problems. I, I kind of had a meltdown at the end of that movie. Once again, trying to shoot in a fast schedule. It ran like two days over. Everybody was about ready to kill each other by the seventh or eighth day we were there. Because no one had any sleep. It, it was just horrible. Pain is something you have to live with. Like I said, I like all three of them for different reasons. They're three totally different movies. I think Gore Horror is the coolest with all the stuff that's in it, but Gorotica is probably the best story. And I like Gorgasm too. I, I like them all. I, 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 I know they're flawed. I know what's wrong with them, but I like them. I think they're good. I think they're, they're, they're fun movies to watch. They're not just something slapped together, you know? School record for most field goals in one season. And there are some things you just don't forget. Do you plan on shooting more features? Yes, I do. When I can't say, but yes, I do. I will make another movie. I have no doubts about that. Um whether it'll be as well received or if anyone will give a flying crap about it, I don't know, but it really doesn't matter. I would I would like to get something made. I will make another movie and I have a lot of great ideas for some movies. It's just a matter of getting behind it and doing it. And one of these days I will. How soon that will be, I'm not sure.